Sunny Avi. And by the title of the video, I am going to do some live readings that um, I need to do. I don't know when I'm going to be on live again. Um, yeah, so if I do get on live um, sooner than later, I will announce it. Um, but these are for people who have already prepaid. Um, please forgive me for doing this fairly late. I'm not going to lie, I low key have a lot going on in my life health wise. And I just kind of wanted to take a break and get myself back together. Sorry if I'm like all over the place looking at my damn screen. Something popped up that I didn't want to pop up. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. And please forgive me um, by how shitty the quality looks. But yeah, it's... It's a lot going on with my computer and my health and my cell phone so bear with me <laughs> but the first person that I'm going to um, read is Miss Aaliyah uh, you are a Leo and you wanted for me to talk about love you wanted me to pull a card for your love life mm. Okay, so you have two cards. You have the two of wands and the two of cups. Really interesting. So the vibration of your love life is uh, embodied by the number two, uh, which talks about balance, cooperation, yin and yang. Um, also, uh, mischievous. Um, yeah. So with that being said, um, Spirit wants you to understand the foundation and the fundamentals that you want to um, have with your love life. Like, Spirit wants you to take things slow. I'm also picking up that you are meant to be with a foreign man or woman. I am picking up more on masculine energy. Um, but for some reason, I'm, once again, Spirit is talking about like a foreign man, whether he is of a different uh, race, nationality, or um, he is from an, like another city, but there's something foreign about um, the man that you are supposed to be with. Um, but yeah, take take things slow. Like when also when I see of the two of cups, I see this as like your higher self trying to talk to you. So understand what your spirit guides is telling you during this time. Um, I feel like you are meant to have a, um, a happy and safe marriage, uh, in the future, but for the time being, spirit is just like, take things slow, understand, you know, like what you want and how you want to be treated and vice versa. And we will pave the way for you, but good luck with everything, love. All right. So next, um, we have a reading for, um, Ricky, you are a Sag. And your question was, you wanted to know if you should move back to Chicago. Hell no. I don't even know why you're asking me that. <laughs> that is what a spirit is saying. Um, as, as soon as I read your question, like, there was this spirit that was just like, move, move. Okay, she's here now. Let me let me talk. Let me speak through her to let you know what's, what's the tea. <laughs> I feel like this spirit is a woman. Uh, she's very sassy, sassy. She's very outspoken. Okay, but yeah, like um, this spirit is like, no, we we don't want you to go to Chicago. Like, what is there? You already know. It's like, why are you even asking, Sunny? Like, you Loki already knew. You Loki already knew the answer. So, but good luck with everything, love. But no, do not move to Chicago. All right, next we have um a freestyle for miss maureen you are an aquarius all right so let's see mm. i am picking up on uh the word abundance with you all right so we have the judgment 
Okay, um, there is this vibe of recalling, reconciliation, recognizing the, the word, um, or the um, suffix rec keeps popping up um, for some reason. But um, I, I did hear the word abundance and I got the vibe of like a, like a motherly vibe. So um, you may have some female spirits who will be giving you um, blessings um, upon your path. Uh, who have uh, departed I don't know why I, I can't talk right now when I'm connecting with you um, but it's definitely a time for you to sit back and reflect upon life and you know just just understand you know just what went wrong how it went wrong and also um, you know what has gone right in your life um, how did you feel like spirit just really wants you to kind of understand your own mercury retrograde for some reason you are going through like your own personal mercury retrograde um side note i feel like we all go through our own retrogrades even if there's like a main retrograde for the world i feel like we are galaxies we are stars and we have our own planets um movement and all that stuff that's just me so with that being said like i said i feel like you have your own mercury retrograde so it's just like redoing revising revisiting rehashing uh that's just popping up but the main thing that i'm picking up is for you to settle you know like like just settle within your own body settle with your own comforts that are good okay um and, and definitely rebirth yourself and just really heal heal from any backlash and wrongdoing that has happened within your life okay but good luck with everything all right so next um we have a reading for water baby seven you are a cancer so um, you wanted to know about love let's see Spirit is saying too soon when it comes to love. Okay, so we have the full card. Um, I'm not sure if, you know, you're still growing. Um, but I, I keep picking up like there's this hesitation uh, for you when it comes to love. I'm not sure if you are interested in someone or if you want to be with someone. But at the same time, like, you, you're hesitant. Like, you don't really want to move forward. Even though the fool is just, like, jolly and you know out there I, I feel like there once again there's this hesitation okay um I, I keep picking up this as a warning like you needing to um like like something is trying to get your attention something is trying to advise you upon something uh just make sure you you aren't settling for less make sure you aren't falling into any traps make sure you aren't being overly naive and overly goofy okay it's like with the fool like being very close to the edge spirit is like no like we don't want you to take that leap of faith you know we don't want you to give you know someone a chance that doesn't need it you know like we don't want you to you know fall off the edge and you know hit rock bottom like we don't want that for you so you know just just be very patient you know with your love life right now and you know just heal from your scars i understand that you know unfortunately within this lifetime like your love life is not going to be the easiest um but when you find someone you will find someone who will be very rock solid who will be very rock solid uh with you but um you know for the time being like just be very precautious okay be very very precautious um but good luck with everything love all right, so next, uh, we have a reading from Miss Maria. Uh, you have two questions. First, you wanted to know um, about this guy. His name starts with an E.
Spirit is saying um, this man, he's very um, sensitive. It's, it's something very sweet about him. Um, I keep picking up on like this Torres vibe with him for some reason, even though he's um, not a Torres. But I, I keep picking up on like this very like um, like sensitive, emotional, like very sweet um vibe with him but i'm also picking up that um he is having a hard time understanding what he's passionate about okay so you may notice some inconsistency with him you know when maybe you know he's calling you for a week and then the next week you don't hear from him or you know one minute like he it's like he's giving you mixed signals okay or you need to be cautious of you giving him mixed signals as well um spirit is saying he is still heartbroken uh, over an ex or someone that meant a lot to him you know so uh, at times he is often comparing like the women that he deals with he compares them to his ex or you know this person that he really really cared about um so i would recommend for you to not put your all into this um if you want to have him as a friend cool um i mean i really to be honest i wouldn't recommend being a friend with him because it's going to be awkward but honey it's your life if you want to be his friend then so be it but you know i i would suggest that you do not move you do not move, uh, you know, with, with this situation. Don't move in with him. Don't let him move in with you. Uh, don't move forward within this. Um, but the next question you wanted to know. Sorry, my nose got stuffy. You wanted to know um, about this guy that you keep dreaming of. This is a long lost lover from your past meaning a past life he's this man in your dreams is coming back to you because it wants you to remind you of the love that you are supposed to have it's like when you see this man it's like either he's chasing after you or you're chasing after him or it's like you guys are looking for each other and i, I feel like spiritually you guys are trying to look for each other you are trying to find love and this connection this the spirit this man or the vibrations like it's trying to find you but i feel like in order for you to really find like your your true companion within this lifetime you you must you must understand what you're searching for okay um what type of love do you want and you know you must be sincere with yourself i keep picking up on the word ground breaking so you are going to have to go through a tower moment you know in in order for you to unlock true love uh within your life um the right man will come to you don't don't go off searching for it spirit is saying your judgment when it comes to men isn't the best and you know like and it, it it's it happens honey um and it's just like right now it's it's just really time for you to heal and you know to gather yourself and understand what's what's a, a burden for you okay um I, I keep picking up that like i don't know if like you want love or or if like if you're searching for peace um or sanity but I, I keep picking up on like this hesitation like oh wh where is it where is it at you know I, I i don't i don't know what you're looking for during this time but spirit is just like huh, w just calm down calm down please okay um but i feel like once again the symbolization of this man is letting you know that the love vibration like your soulmate that vibration is like searching for you or you're searching for it but sooner than later, it, it will mesh and you will come together with this person. Only if you heal. Only if you heal. All right. But good luck with everything. All right. So the last person that we have is um, Miss Laura. And you wanted a freestyle. 
and you are a Scorpio. Okay. So we have the chariot. <laughs> I heard move over. Help is on its way. So something that you've been waiting and wishing for via help is coming your way. But you must understand knowledge. Whether it's spiritual knowledge, it's mental knowledge. Um, like you're seeing like knowledge, you know, whatever the case may be, you must you must be aware of knowledge, like being schooled uh, in a sense. So you are going to go through um, some tough love, okay, um, as you get your help. Whether this help is, you know, spiritually, is is material, it's it's physical, it's is mental, it's um, you know, like love, you know, like I I feel like you're getting the help that you want, but just know that it's not going to be easy, okay? It's it's not going to be easy. Um, I am picking up that you you need a restart, uh, within life right now, um. And, and it's okay. It's okay. But once you move forward, don't look back. All right. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Good luck with everything. And I shall see you next time. Take care. Bye.